guys, I'm just going to give you a quick little overview of what I'm going to do before I assemble this. This is the uh, the whole setup here. This is the board I got online. A constant uh, was eighty dollars. It's actually massive. It doesn't look big here, but um, it's two inches longer than the cool wheel and two inches wider than the cool wheel, which is better for you know cruising. It's got the W um, concave. It's got a tiki finish on the bottom paint job. I've actually done three coats of high enamel gloss polyurethane just so it stops stain chips and fading um, but that is a really nice thick Canadian maple and they've got that for $80 so you get that get whatever you want whatever design you want and then we're just going to put that on the bottom with the size of these look at the size of this this doesn't do justice these things are huge um, I'm giving my baseball cap you can see the size of these things they're just huge uh, they weigh it away a fair bit too you feel the motors turning as I turn them. All cast um, uh, magnesium and alloy titanium. Definitely beautifully, beautifully made. So we're gonna assemble this on top of this. Um, I won't do it, I'll do it in stages and come back and show you. Here are the front wheels, again, they're huge. Look at that, these are just massive wheels. Um, yeah, I can't even give you a, an idea how big they are. Well, they're 93s, but they just they look big, maybe because they're black, they look big, I don't know. Um, okay, we'll come back and I'm going to give you a boot up on this thing, the sound on it. I'm also going to give you a comparison acoustic sound test on the Cool Wheel and the Onan X2 so you can hear the technology change in 12 months in terms of silent motors, new hub motors and everything. So but have a quick look at this. I'll just hold this up. This is the back of the box. You won't get a look at this unless you actually buy one of these things. So you can take a screenshot of that if you want. Um, and then read it later but that's the back of the box that's the box high high premium quality you know piece of packaging beautifully uh inside with uh packed inside with foam and dual layer packaging yeah this is a good item this is, um, this is probably one of the best um best packaging and high, high premium quality item i've ever seen so um okay guys We'll come back when I've Okay, just one little hiccup I just realized. Um, this thing sits flat on the deck, and my deck I got, beautiful deck as it is, W concave, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, it's got a drop down, drop down end, see? It just drops down. So this particular area drops down, as you can see, that much. I put the level on it, where it's going to sit flat with this, this board. You can see there's a significant gap in there. So I got myself some plywood. Um, I'm just going to put that um, under there and tomorrow I'm going to just plane that a little bit of a taper on it so when it sandwiches down and clamps um, it'll be completely level across that area so if you've got a board that's dead flat don't worry but if you're not you have to pack it with this I could get a packer but I've got to if it's plastic I'll have to plane it and whatever so I'll just use some plywood and I'll just paint it all black and stick it down and that'll be it so um once that then you know is made that particular piece of um packing will level it up so the whole unit sits on it flat uh, unfortunately that's one thing i didn't realize but um be aware of that so decks have got to be pretty much flat so i'll come back when i've made them okay also guys i just noticed they came they came with this little pack of sort of like self-adhesive little bits of sort of rubbery foam and in, in you know like a little ziploc bag so i had no idea what these were for um we know what this is this is a very thin piece that goes under the main truck area here okay so that just sits there obviously that's no problem the front truck doesn't need any rubbers because it just sits on the front um having said that i'm going to put a little bit of rubber under that as well probably go to clark rubber and get the same rubber make the same template and put one at the front i think that's probably going to damper a little bit of vibrations um but look i found out probably where this this stuff goes um the shapes i worked out that when the battery connects into this section here click click goes in um it's all plastic in here but i found out that these pieces exactly fit in that area there that's that half round one ironically it's like a jigsaw puzzle it fits perfectly so it has to go there have the same tapered edges uh, these ones kind of go around there i'm going to put these two um sort of straight ones um at the back just at the back 
there. So when the battery goes in and clicks in, it kind of just foams this or rubbers this, so it just gives it a bit of a, though it doesn't vibrate as much, not that it's only on plastic, but plastic will sit on the board. And don't forget, it's secured from back here. So the board, as it flexes, this particular part will cantilever on the board. So if it's on here, it'll kind of cantilever. So there could be some, you know, tapping here. That's why they've put rubber on the other side of this, as you can see there, for that particular tapper uh, on the deck. But in here, the battery compartment will also probably move. So this will probably just stop it from squeaking or rattling. Um, and then the other one there, as I suppose, um, will go just in there as well. So just a tip for you guys, that's where they go. If you get a bag of Ziploc bags of self-adhesive rubber foamy kind of things, that's where it goes. I'll come back when I've made my blockers and my spaces at the back and front and we'll get this thing mounted and get this thing on the road and we'll check it out. But looking at this thing, it's just like, oh, it's just, it's filthy. It's so, such a mean looking piece of um, hub wheel. It's kind of just insane. Okay guys, I'll come back when I finish. Okay guys, I've put those rubber pieces in, like I said, those foam pieces that came with it, which I had no instructions where to put them, but I think that's 100% where they go. I've just noticed now that when you actually click the battery in, uh, it used to click in like a click and have a quite a loose feel, like lock in and make a loud click. Now if you put it in, it kind of it doesn't click until you push it hard. Hear that click? That's on. So it's locked in, it's tight but it won't sort of come loose. When you, same thing when you undo it now, it doesn't make a loud click and pop up. It makes a light click. Uh, this is a tricky thing to get out. You just gotta to get to a certain point and just wiggle it a bit. Um, and it definitely comes out, but you just gotta be a bit patient and then it comes out. Um, so there you go. Just a little bit of an idea that that's the noise it makes now when the foam pieces are in, but I'd rather have them in there um, protecting the vibrations of it rather than have it just a, a loose click down. Okay guys, come back when I've got this thing. Okay guys, here I am, next phase of this. Um, as you know, I had the ball with the dips down at the end, the drop down, so I've had to pack them. So what I've done here, if you can see, it's a really cool piece of um, nine mil ply and I've tapered it to fit in there absolutely perfectly and that'll look really good when it's all black on, on the bottom and then it's also lacquered around here like a double layer. A double layer effect and then the front trucks you can see same thing done again it'll be lacquered all around there so it'll look a lot more stylish and a bit more slick than just putting a black block under there but that's as you can see leveled it now so my table's pretty level um the level is it's pretty close it's um close enough but certainly the the whole you know booster doesn't rock now and it's all um level and they're raised the right height. So sometimes you know, some adjustments are gonna come in when you don't expect them, but this will look awesome. Anyway, I'll push on. Okay, my table wasn't level, that's the problem. But the floor, as you can see, is dead level there. And when I put it on top of the truck, so let's make it exact on the metal, metal on metal, it's dead accurate, okay. That's level. Right. So now those trucks with those packings underneath, as you can see there, and the one that just through the wheel there, um, that is now level. So that's ready to lacquer, bolt on and go for a ride. Okay guys, just showing you the two pieces I made. There you go, just a piece of uh, seven mil, pretty cheap um, ply. Once I sand it up, it'll, it'll actually come up really nice. And I'll do the top black the bottom black and then I'll just polish and lacquer the sides so they kind of match. And the back one was a bit intricate because I had to oh, had to cover the trucks. So um, as you can see I had to taper it um, a little bit so it was a bit more intricate so that this gap here, if you look at that and turn it over, it just fits in nicely into that very sculpted area I had to taper it and then that is um, what I've adjusted so that's the time delay guys anyway oh god these are big looking forward to this okay we'll uh, get into okay, it okay guys I've made the templates there they are the nice high gloss as you can see 
It doesn't have to be the world's greatest finish. It's going to be covered by the actual truck itself. Um, the bottom will have uh, rubber on it, which I've just made a, a template here by putting masking tape on the rubber and then putting it down there and tracing around it. And then I'll just cut that out. So the rubber will sit under here, giving it a waterproof effect. Uh, and look at the finish on that, just beautiful. So it's not the world's greatest ply, but um, it certainly will, will look really nice. If you see on here, it'll just be um, a kind of a nice finish uh, to the board and sort of set it off a bit like a factory kind of set made piece with the truck going on there. Anyway, um, yeah, it'll look. I think it'll look really good. So we got the rubber on the bottom of those, keep the uh, water out. Uh, the front truck one's done as well for the front truck, which just sits there as well. Uh, then we'll mount, um, obviously, the truck on, which will sit on like that. And that's kind of how it's gonna, how it's gonna look. Just like that. Anyway, we'll be out riding it today. So um, I'll come back when it's all assembled and we'll um, show you where, what it looks like. And we'll weigh them and do the sound test acoustics on it to see what the motors are like compared to the cool wheel. Okay, I've just marked out with masking tape uh, the holes and I've used a hole punch um, to uh, put the nice holes in as you can see. Uh, and that's what it looks like when it's finished. That'll keep it watertight and waterproof as it sits upside down on the deck like that. Or other way around, sorry, like that. So, yeah, okay. And now I'll just quick grip this rubber on um, with quick grip and it's a new product clear. So it's a clear, uh, crystal clear. So actually when you open it, if I can get it open, I will just to show you. It's crystal clear quick grip. Can you believe that? This is awesome because if it comes out the sides, it just, just dries clear. Uh, yeah, I used to use this in the military when I actually when we had submarines and on the submarines I was all done with quick grip. This is the most amazing product. So there you go. Okay, we'll stick them down and we'll get these blocks and risers on and then we can load the actual skateboard. Okay, they're all done, stuck down. You can see with the rubber on top, uh, which is going to give it that waterproofing and the black on the, on, the, on the very top. And then when it goes on there, it's going to sit with the rubber. The rubber will sit that nicely in there. And again, the rubber on this one, I use quick grip, it's cleared, uh, clear finish. So if it's come out the side, you can't see it. And okay, I'm, I'm a, I was a electrical trade, uh, electrical fitter mechanic by trade before I became an accountant for the tax office for 30 years. So yeah, I'm good at doing this sort of stuff, but it's not rocket science. A lot of people can kind of do this, um, just a bit of, um, you know, carpentry work and a bit of intricate sanding, but yeah, that's gonna look really good. So. We'll put them on, put it all together. I'm going to take it for a quick spin up and get a pie at my corner pie shop and I'll uh, video that for you. So it'll be a little teaser before I do the full reviews. Okay, because I had to um, put spaces in here, I also had to get longer screws. So I went to Skatey shop and I got Phillips head. Unfortunately, that's all they had. Um, they were just the Goliath brand. So I had to get one and a half inch um, screws. And because they were countersunk, I just had to countersink the top of the deck with the drill, which I've just done with the countersink bit. So they should fit. Yep, beautiful flush. I've got a texture. I'm just going to touch up these with black texture rather than paint so you can't see them. And we're ready to put the trucks on. Okay, it's gone through beautifully and you can sort of see how neat that looks. I might do that to the cool wheel too. It's a much better finish. It looks really sexy. Um, okay, so we just mount the truck on now, which um, will go straight on top of there. And I'll just line it up and I'll come back.